this is my shower. Wow. Let's go hang it up. What a thing to do on a hot day. I think I need a shower next. And I can still get my way out of here so far. Yeah, this is gonna be the only hairy part because the bushes really close in. I'm only panicking a little bit. <laughs> oh, I could have turned around there if I needed to, but now I'm too curious. This is so exciting. So in order to not waste the water for showering, I am going to put some bleach, uh, not bleach, some yellow dye in my hair. Well, hello. It is another stinking hot day, but today I'm taking my basket out because I have a small veggie plot that I want to go and pick some tasty, delicious goodness from. I have got my knife here and we're going to cut tomatoes and squashes because I've been away for a little bit. And I think these fruits are well past ready to eat. So let's go. I really find it pretty helpful, like finding new plants and then looking them up immediately so I know what they are. This looks to have a leaf in the nettle family, like a hedge nettle. Hedge nettles are not stingy, but I'm really curious because uh, I recently discovered a big patch of <sighs> lamb's quarters, which is actually a really delicious herb. So. This is not it, but I'm curious what it is. So we're gonna look it up. Oh, oh my gosh. It is so hot. I am sweating somewhat profusely. <sighs> anyway, I thought what better way to cool down than to play with water. So I have two packets of clothing dye. And I have a small pile of white clothing, which very strange because me and white clothing aren't really a big mix. And I want to dye these, but I want to dip dye it so it starts at yellow and ends at orange. And there's this beautiful dress and I have one other piece of clothing too. So let's go outside, hook up the shower, plug it in, get some water running, and do some dyeing! It's a great idea. This kind of weather, this is what we should be doing. Couple of buckets, but in order to fill the buckets up, we need a hose. Conveniently, conveniently I have one of those. This is my shower, and it's so great. Pop it straight out this window. Eventually I have this mount where it'll sit on the side of the van and I'm so excited about it, but I've got a, this is daunting, drilling holes in one house, but hopefully I'll get around to that. Attach this to my faucet and we're good to go. This goes out the window and let's go fill a bucket up. This is actually a bucket I found on the beach 
but it's a perfect crabbing bucket. Um, and I'm also stoked to use it to dye clothes. So I'm gonna put some water in here first, give it a rinse, because there's a bit of mud in here and I don't want any mud on my clothes. This bucket was my other color, so we have two colors between these two. And then I've got salt, mordant, two types of dye, and three items of clothing. I have a singlet, which is not very white anymore. A dress, which is beautiful fabric, look at that. But I haven't barely ever worn it because of course it's white. Isn't it cool? This is by a company called Tofino Towel, not sponsored, and has such beautiful textured texture but the colors that they had didn't suit me so of course what does Flossie do buy a white one to dye it yellow the packets dissolve so you don't get your fingers all nasty even though I probably will because I'll touch this stuff but let's pop it in oh it's falling apart Whoa! That is cool. What a beautiful color. I want yellow at the top, orange at the bottom. I think I want all of them like that. So, going between the two colors, let's get rid of any plant material for as much as we can. Yeah, like this. Keeping the bottom out. Almost instantaneous. Whoa. And the orange should run down. And if I leave this end in the water, that bit will get extra yellow. It will hold the color more. No idea how this is gonna take it on. It might even just take it on only in this fuzzy bits. Dipped in the blood of mine enemies. Except I don't have any enemies and this is fabric dye, so. <laughs> wow. Let's go hang it up. Alright, we have a nice blend in the middle. Time to let this just sit. It's gonna look amazing. It's looking good, picking up real nice rich color. I have these pillowcases that I dyed when I dyed my sheets, which didn't pick up a whole lot of color, so I'm thinking 
putting them in to refresh. I can't decide if to put them both in yellow or one in orange and one in yellow. I pause here, pause the video, comment down below if you think I should do two yellow, one orange and one yellow, and then press play to see what happens. First one is obvious, putting it in this bucket. And you guessed it. So excited and so happy. <sighs> what a thing to do on a hot day. I think I need a shower next after I've done my clothes. All right, I think I'm gonna hop out. And go for a walk and see if I can go any further before I get stuck. Cause no one wants to get stuck. And I can still get my way out of here so far. Can we keep going and is there going to be a place to turn around? I'm banking on there being a spot up here that I can turn around on. It's just going to be super scrapy until we get there. <sighs> okay, this is not so bad. This is exciting. Roads I've never explored before. Oh yeah, it opens up. Okay, I can totally get the van up in here. All right, I'm gonna go back and get it because that looks wide enough and open. It's only just this little small dense patch, which is gonna be a bit scrapey. It opens way up up here. The track is still well used and clear. <laughs> Look at her in the bushes, siren. Pirate ship of the land. Yeah, this is gonna be the only hairy part because the bushes really close in like this, just above my head. But they're all really soft, like it's mostly just salmon berries. But the forest is so gorgeous. I'm excited, this is fun. Scrapey, scrapey, here we come. Mirrors have already folded in. When I get solar panels, I think I will put a sliding thing so that branches slide up over them and don't get caught underneath. Yeah, this is just one little tight spot of soft, soft trees and my mirrors fold in nice and easy. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. I'm only panicking a little bit, but not enough to stop driving. <laughs> this is like bushwhacking for vans. And you see just around here, we're gonna open up again. Here we go. Scrapey, scrapey, all done. Oh, I could have turned around there if I needed to, but now I'm too curious. This is so exciting. Little, a little hazard, a little danger. Now I can go like a little faster because it's a beautiful road. 
for a forest ride. Before we get ourselves into any more squishiness, we have a space to turn around. Maybe I'll pull out a GPS as well. So cool. I just had a thought I'm totally coming back here in fall to come and hunt for mushrooms. I'm seeing spots where I'm like, I bet. I bet there would be mushrooms here. Whether or not I'm about to get my van in this far, I don't know because the rains will probably turn some of these paths to impassable mud. But mushroom hunting in here, totally. You know, you mark these spots in your brain, you're like, hmm, Because right here, this horse poo in the canyon and trees. Yep, that's the end of the road. I found it. Whew. That was a good brisk walk. I of course forgot my phone, left it in the van, so I haven't tracked my kilometers. Cow, deer, that's huge. <sighs> Delightful. I'm parked. I've got a great spot. Forest on that side and shade and a little exploring trail just right there. I'm pretty stoked. I think I will just get set up inside, have a drink, relax for a minute and then go for that walk but I'm gonna See if I can charge my batteries while I go for a walk because they're not low, they're not high, they're at like 30%, which is not ideal. But I'm in the middle of the forest, so we're doing good. Oh, empty. Damn it! Since I can't charge the batteries, means I'm gonna only better stay here one night. I stupidly forgot to fill up my gas can, which would given me a couple more days. But there's other places to explore, so we'll stay here tonight, and we'll go drive somewhere else tomorrow, and we'll be good. You can see that some hunter has used this area as a place to remove the fur from some creature. I'm guessing it's some sort of deer or elk 
because there are pieces of bone in here. And this stuff looks more like the under, under wool, the undercoat because of its wrinkles. But I found over here and removed respectfully, where'd I put it? Huh, it'd be magic if I can't find it. A piece of jawbone. So yeah, I can't find it. The forest has already reclaimed its precious ones. But yeah, I'm gonna try and dye my hair. I'm very hot, I wanna shower, and so, so, may, so in order to not waste the water for showering, I am going to put some bleach, uh, not bleach, some yellow dye in my hair because if you haven't noticed, my hair is so faded. It's normally bright, bright yellow. Um, so let's do that and then have a shower. Feels like I've been blonde yellow for so long. Just let it marinate for a little while. And then we'll wash it all off. And it's interesting being like, oh, I don't have enough power to plug the Starlink in. And then I was like, oh, but there's no, not enough service to go on my phone. And just that realization of how dependent we are on the internet for entertainment and how sometimes you fall into these patterns and addictions of just being like, oh, well, I guess I just go on my phone and do the thing. Like I was just gonna do some accounting and some bookkeeping and I was like, oh, but this app hasn't been logged into and it needs the internet to be logged in. And I was like, frustrated. Cause I was like, all of these things require internet, but yet I'm here specifically so I can be offline, unplugged. Well, it's good. It's good to have something forcing me to not be online all the time. This is great. I'll have a little shower to wash my hair and then I'll go for another little walk because there's another trail just up here that I want to explore. I have on a YouTube friendly outfit for showering that I don't mind if it gets some yellow dye on it. It shouldn't make it a difference at all. It's a nice dark color. I have my shower connected. Look at this fantastical thing. I am going to post this contraption out the window and we're gonna rinse everything out of my hair. This is exciting. This is the first proper time that I'll be using my shower. <laughs> Maybe this will be a thumbnail. Well, I should dry off and clean up, turn the tap off, pull my lovely, lovely shower inside. Look at this. I'm so happy. There's an on-off switch at the hose. And there, look. Woohoo, clean. I'm turned off. So good, and it just pokes out the window. I'm gonna get a little mount so I can stand here and then just be like, Psh, get it mounted like a nice height where it just sits so I can have hands free showering. But you know, drilling holes in the van is daunting, but I'll probably do it. 
between these two because I know there's um, uh, a rivet support which means if there is any moisture in it will just drip drain straight down it's not going to get into my insulation in here I'll mount it there and then cover it in silicon so it doesn't leak all right let's go get dry <laughs> yeah this is so much fun like literally taking a shower in the forest <laughs> So fun! All right, <sighs> towel off. I didn't put my whole body in because I didn't need to, and that would have been a waste of water. But <sighs> look at this pretty color! I love it. Would you believe the colors? Look. So I dyed this yesterday looks amazing and it is a swimming robe it's beautiful two-tone i'm gonna put it on ready Woo! Woo! <laughs> isn't this amazing it's like a yellowy orange dyed to an orangey red and i love it so much and it's beautiful cotton if you want one of these by Tofino Towel, not sponsored, but the cotton is beautiful. Turkish cotton, anyone? And it dyes beautifully. And I have this beautiful gradient where the color changes from yellow to orange. No harsh lines, just a soft, gentle gradient. And it is so cute. Ha ha ha. Definitely fine when I have no internet access and I'm in the forest, I do a lot more exercise. It's all a motivation just to get out and about and explore. I'm definitely gonna get the drone out soon and fly see where we are, see how close the river is from here, see where the nearest body of water is, if there's any lakes. Oh, this piece is definitely a more recent clear cut. The trees are a lot shorter than big tall guys. Border on the edge of where I was before. Ooh. Oh, this is fun. I really hope you enjoyed my adventures this week. This is only part one of the foresty adventure. We'll pick up where we left off next week. And from there on, onto further and more further away places. A huge thank you to my Patreons who make doing this every single week actually sustainable for me. I can't wait to read all your comments and until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye.